name is Carol Morange and the name of my company is Flavor Foods. I've been in the market for 22 years. We started off making sweet to Hilo. But apparently while doing the sweets, I did it for about six months. Um, the rolling of the laddu, you have to roll it hot, right? And um, my hands started to, to, to become painful and it was swollen at some point in time. So when I went to, I used to do front stores, all the high lows front stores supplying them with uh, um, Indian delicacies. And when um, I went to head office, I asked that if, is, if, if there is anything else that you all would be willing to buy from Flavor Foods. And um, she said, uh, the, the buyer said to me, we are looking for anchar, mango anchar, and nuts and chana in bottles. So she said, think about it, Miss Maraj, and you'll get back to me. So in a month time, I said to her that um, I will, I rather do nuts and chana in bottles. And I quit making the sweets because it was a kind of costly and then my hands were beginning to pain. And there I started off doing nuts and chana. And Hilo were my first stores that I delivered. But I used to deliver to warehouse in a large scale. And uh, it's the end and I started off thanks to Mr. Kamraj. Um, from Regal, they who really helped me because his nephew was the CEO of Hilo in those days and we communicated and whenever I needed help and how to get through with all my um, labels and stuff like that, um, they helped me and I might say a great thanks to Mr. Kamraj and Miss Catherine who really, really pushed me to be where am I today. Before I started the Cheblo, I started off with one pong of flour. We tried, we failed, we tried, we failed with one pound of flour, right? That is the split peas. And uh, eventually when I got the right texture, the right, um, um, the way I wanted to come out crunchy, then I, de I started to multiply the one pound by 20 pounds and there and then we eventually made our own recipe and it turned out to be very, very successful. Well, I do all the um, mix mixing of the, the ingredients and um, the ingredients um, consist of um, Split peas, a small amount of flour, grind, chana, seasoning comprised of thyme, shadow benny, garlic, salt, and um, we use also baking powder, and basically that's it. Butter, butter, mix it in properly. Now goes with the hot pot. Yep, the garlic, shadow benny, and um, bandolier. Fine time. And the hot pepper. No, you. This is take a good bit of water because like the dal is just soaking the. See how the water just soaking in. Now starting to feel the, the wetness of the flour, the mixture. But you have to know how more water you throw in. 
કાન છો તો મજો વધારી છે ધેટ્સ વાય યુ સી વી છો લે લે બેટા થા થાય ટુ ગેટ ઇટ રાઈટ મિક્સ યા So you see, see how it's spawned, like it just heal from how it was, it's like it raised, like you know when you're getting bread, right, that's what you're looking for. Fry ingredients, it's finished, mixed into the um, spongy texture that we wanted it and now it's going to take to the process of frying. Yeah, we are going to put the mix there now. Right, you see that's what you're looking for, that mix there, there, that is the said, it mustn't be sticky in your hand. See when you, it's how easy it falls off, what? See? Right, that is what you're looking for. Right. Put a little oil, then that oil is to help with the, the machine to work properly now for it to go down easy. This is in our um, remote. This is to our. Um, it's sending down. It's sending down the mix there into the machine now to go to the oil. Right. Well, this is is supposed to be hot, right? But what my father-in-law did, he did it in a way so it would be easier for us to operate, right? So he hooked it up in you know, electrical. We're not doing manual here. Right. <laughs> And the jack, this the jack working here right now. And there's a motor in the back there. The motor, and this operating the jack. Right? This is going down there right now. Always make sure your oil is properly hot. Make sure if the oil is not hot, it won't come all good. See, as it goes in, how it flows up. That's where you're looking for. at least three to four hours to properly cool after it's been cold you can bottle it but um, usually we leave it overnight where the oil can be absorbed so whenever you buy flavor food products you get a dry crunchy product it's not oily as you can see even with the split peas and everything here is manual Nothing is being bottled by machine. As you can see how how it is very crunchy. See the color, it's very crunchy. You can hear it, the crunch in it. You hear it. it. So we use a recipe and um, we stick to that recipe. We don't have, you know, every time we mix we do have different measurements. We constantly use one measurement and that is how you will get 
um, flavor foods chiblo will always be the same this is our finished product after it has been cold it has been bottled and boxed i always say to them when you're making something for somebody to eat make sure it comes out as though you is going to eat it i have i want enough seasoning enough garlic so that you know my goods will be outstanding game it's it's a growing business it's a very successful business and it was managed by myself and uh, it will um i hope that you know sometimes when you start off Yes, some of us we start off with a good, nice recipe, and eventually it starts to decline. I hope it doesn't happen to flavor foods when I am no longer here. Well, like I am, I am. I'm trying my best. Right, right. I'm very, very happy to have a business like this. I, I don't know how long again I will carry on. Once I have the health and strength. The business is dear. <laughs>